Welcome back to another gig report. I'm in a different space than where I usually am. I usually record all my video stuff in the basement studio, but now I'm in the upstairs office, which is a new room for us, even though it's part of our house. But we used to rent out the second floor of our house and the person who rented it left recently and because our family is about to become bigger, we took the space to ourselves. And I thought it would be a nice change of pace to film something here and also not be in a dark basement for the entire day. Not that I take this long to shoot these intros, but you get the point. We are playing a festival in Germany tonight with Nighthawker. Um, I think it will be pretty cool. I'm not going to do the whole introduction with all my gear because by now, if you've seen many of these, you probably know what I will take. And I hope my wife Gwen will be able to come along to film some stuff because we have a very short change over time which makes it difficult for me to do all that stuff by myself because it's more important to be ready to play than ready to film anything in between. But we'll see how it goes, we're gonna have fun and I'll see you later. It's looking a bit better now, at least it seems dry, but I hope the wind is the right way because yeah, no one wants to play a rained out show, so let's hope for the best. So I'm cutting into this video from the day after the show because I want to talk about something before I show you the live clips. Like I mentioned before, we had a very short changeover time of only 30 minutes. That's for one band to get off the stage and us to get on the stage. And that's not a lot of time, but we were assured that the technical crew would be aware of our technical rider. Unfortunate to say, they weren't really. First of all, they had no idea who was doing vocals in the band and we have multiple vocals. But that actually brings me to the next point, because we got something very specific stated in our writer. And that's that we want the vocals to be embedded in the music and not on top of the music. And if you're in a band or if you've ever seen a band live, you might know what I'm talking about. You have some sound engineers who put the vocals very loud on top of the music and we're not the kind of band to do that with. Another thing that they did yesterday that a lot of sound engineers like to do, especially if they put the vocals very loud, is put a lot of reverb and delay on top of it and I didn't really like that either. And that's also something stated in our technical writer. Well, let me be clear, it's not my intention to bash the sound engineers working there yesterday. They were very nice people, they were very helpful. They helped us getting set up very quickly because they were behind on schedule and we started right on schedule. But when you listen back to the recordings, I've got the front of house mix recorded on my task cam and stereo, and I got the mix from the camera and yeah, you notice it, you hear it, and it's also something we noticed when we were building up. They asked me if I had a DI on my amp, and if they read the rider, they knew I was not using a DI. And if you bring a Marshall Plexi amp with a 4x12, you don't want to be using a DI. Obviously, my Tone King Iron Man attenuator has one, but that's not what I want to go to the front of house if I'm bringing my big Marshall Plexi. But besides all that, we had a great gig, so let's go to the live clips. Crazy. We all are just holding on There will be no maybe Cause baby we are too strong Just alright, sooner than 
was right we shared
Ich war ein Neusager, danke schön. Good night. Are you sleepy? Are you sleepy? <laughs> so that was yesterday's show and it was a lot of fun. I already talked about the sound a little bit and as you might have noticed, you couldn't really hear me all that well and that was on the recording from the front of house as well as on the microphone from the camera. But what you're gonna do, it wasn't perfect but it wasn't terrible. It was a bit more difficult because the thing I didn't talk about beforehand, I talked about the technical crew not checking our technical rider or at least it felt like they didn't. And another thing that's in our technical rider is our monitor wishes, but we had nothing on our monitors, at least I didn't have anything on my monitors. So I only heard my vocals coming from the front of house and I heard the other instruments coming from the stage, but that was it. And I can deal with that, I can play with that, but it gives you a difficult idea of how you're sounding for the audience. And when I was watching and listening back to the clips, I noticed that it was a bit different than what I expected. And that's why I also sliced in beforehand talking about the technical writer issue. But once again, I didn't mean to diss the technical crew, they were just doing their work, just like we are trying to do our work. And I want to talk about something else, and in this instance I also don't mean to be mean or diss anybody or um, dish with gossip or whatever you want to call it. But I really have to say, um, with our original bass player we had a lot of fun, we had a lot of good times, we made good music together. and. I don't want to be unkind to him, but with our new bass player, we are having some kind of resurgence. It's a lot more fun than it used to be for a long time, and it feels really refreshed. We have a new energy in the band. Um, Xavier, our new bass player, is really funny. He's really good. He brings a lot of positive energy to the group, and we feel revitalized as a band. You know, Nighthawker is really my dearest band, and I mean, some people might say that about every band they're currently working with, but I'm working with people I really like to work with. I'm making the music that I love and we've been doing this for five years now and it never felt like this after five years, but it still really does. I still really love to do this with these people and this kind of music. And I really hope we are going to be doing this for a very long time to come. The next show on our schedule will be opening for Cardinal Black upcoming week. And if you haven't heard of Cardinal Black, they have a pretty famous guitar player by the name of Chris Buck, who you might know. And that actually makes me and our other guitar player a bit nervous because Chris Buck is an amazing guitar player. So it's an honor to open for them, but it's also a bit nerve wracking. I will bring my camera to that show as well. Obviously, I hope to see Chris Buck and maybe speak to him and maybe even get him on video. But I don't want to be bothering him because he's got enough to do on his own with his own YouTube channel. And at this moment, I'm a nobody also making videos. But most of all, I want to have a cool gig again with Nighthawker. I want to enjoy seeing Cardinal Black and I hope to see you then as well. So for now, thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell icon and I'll see you next time.